Hello. In this session, we will implement basic create, update, delete, and read operations. And to arrange all these operations, we will create a nice, well designed use case folder structure. We want to design these five endpoints so that user can read, create, update, and delete stories. Our controller will be thin, and all application logic will go in our application layer. Use case folder structure will look something like this. While designing API endpoints, we will follow REST recommendations. If you want to read about best practices to design RESTful APIs, then you can check the link in description. We will try to keep things modular from the beginning. So we'll identify subdomains and we'll organize our code in such a way that all related things will go together. That means instead of keeping all interfaces in one folder, Instead of keeping all DTOs in one folder or instead of keeping all entities in one folder, we will organize our application folder structure feature wise. So all functionality related to account will go under one folder and all functionality related to stories will go under another folder. Let us create our very first domain entity story. Go to domain project, create story domain folder. Inside it, create entities folder. Inside this, create story domain entity. Make it public and insert two properties ID and text. Notice that ID is GUID over here. Let us keep this simple for now but we will definitely revisit this entity several times and refactor it. Now go to the application project. Create a folder story app layer. Inside that create use cases folder and then story use case. Inside story use cases, let us create folders for our CRUD operation. So we need to create folders like get stories, get story by ID, create story, update story and delete story. All of these use cases will return story DTO. So we will need story DTO class. But as all of them will need it, instead of creating it in use case folder, we can create one DTOs folder in story app layer. And here we can keep all our DTOs which are required by story subdomain. So let us create story DTO inside this folder. So in short, this is a class which we will be using as a response object for all these use cases. Now let us create request classes and handler classes for all these use cases. And while creating request classes, we will be following CQRS recommendation. CQRS stands for command query responsibility segregation all get or read requests are queries and create update and delete requests are command so let us create request object for these use cases for create story we will name it create story command for delete story we will name it delete story command get stories query get story by id query and update story command All these request classes need to be derived from iRequest interface 
that is provided by mediator. Specify written type. So while creating this request object, we need to specify written type. That's why we first created this type. Let us do this for all our request object. Now let us add needed properties in this request object. While creating the story, we just need to pass text and ID will be generated by the system. While deleting story, we need to pass ID. For get stories, let us keep this empty for now. In future, we will be adding paging and filtering properties over here. For get story by ID, we need ID property. And for update, we need both the properties, ID and text. So my request objects are ready. Now let us add handler classes. All these handler classes need to implement I request handler. Here we need to specify request type and response type. So our request type is create story command and response that we will be returning from this handler is story detail. And implement this interface repeat this process for all other handlers but don't simply copy and paste because a request object for each handler will be different Okay, here it should be get story by id query. One more fix we need to do is in this get stories. For here we will be returning list of stories and not a single story object. So it should be i numerable story fix handler also. So you need to make change at two places in the handler. One is in this interface and one is in this written type of the method. With this our request, response and handler classes are in place. Now these handlers will either save data or retrieve data from the database. But we want to keep our application layer independent of persist. All our persistence logic will go in the repository layer the project that we created in the infrastructure folder an application layer will communicate to it using interfaces which are owned by application layer itself this concept we already discussed in chapter 1 if you are facing any difficulty in understanding the concept then you can go and watch chapter 1 first and come back so now let us create a folder gateway inside story app layer we name this folder gateway as it will act as a gateway for our application layer. Our application layer will communicate with all external dependencies like database, external APIs, third party libraries or packages through this gateway. So basically we will put all the interfaces which are required to communicate with external dependencies 
inside this gateway folder. So let us create interface I story repository and declare all CRUD operation in it. Exit. So these are the methods that we will need to support our CRUD operation. You can notice that all these methods are async method. So instead of naming methods like get, get by id, we named it as get async, get by id async. It gives clear idea to developers that they are async methods. One more important thing you should notice over here is that these all methods are written in domain entity object and not DTO. So basically repository layer will return us domain entity object and then application layer will map that domain entity object to DTOs to, and then it will return that DTO to API layer. Now let us implement this interface in our repository layer. Let us create folder story repositories. Create class story repository. implement i story repository i think with this skeleton for our crud operation is ready we created all required folders and classes however before ending this session we can make one small fix if you remember in last session we created get user by id use case to configure mediator we can move this folder to proper location so let us create proper folder hierarchy for it create folder account app layer create folder use cases then maybe user use cases and let us move this folder inside it Also fix the namespaces. As namespace is changed, we need to make this fix in our controller. At this point, I am not sure about this folder hierarchy is correct or not. This may change later. Over here, we may not have this user use case and we may have account use cases. So let us ignore it for now and focus on this story app layer. Now compile the project once to make sure that everything is placed properly. Okay, that's good. Let us stop here and continue in next part. If you find this content useful, please like and subscribe. If you wish to receive notification whenever new episode is published, then do not forget to hit the bell icon and click all in that pop-up. Thank you.